all right welcome to this session in this session we're going to be working with polymorphism so polymorphism is a concept of object-oriented programming where you know um stuffs can you know appear in in multiple forms is a word that derived from greek word you know when stuff appear in you know multiple multiple forms multiple dimension so let's have a practical example so we can drive home the point so building on the inheritance that we did um, where we created you know a class uh, person and then we we have a student deriving from from that class so let me just create some more um, derived class so let's say we had let's say we add a new item and then there we call this another kind of person so let's say we have lecturer we have lecturer class lecturer class and like this now so this lecturer class is also let's say it's also um implementing a person is also deriving from person and then itself too i'll just just come here and had the the generic constructor for it so once you generate contact for it uh, it's um, you know the method also derives the 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 constructor also derives the base constructor all right so i would add another class just so that we can let's say we have another class we can have as many classes as possible and then we can use that to you know really explain what we want to explain so let's say i have another kind of person just an example um so let's say this one is um uh, let me call it admin okay so let's say we we have this admin class and uh, let's say admin is also a kind of pressing is also a kind of pressing uh which yeah is deriving from the pressing and then we also generate his own uh this thing so i think this is this should be enough for us to really explain what we want to explain so supposing that within the the base class which is the person um there's a method that is exposed let's say we have a method that is exposed so here you have a method here and um let's say we have uh, a public and um let's say we have a void and we here we have say hello say hello as the the method and then within it what we're doing is uh we are simply writing to the console and then we are saying write line console dot write line so here we have um greetings from the base class from the base class or from the person okay so we have this one all right now let's say within another um class that is deriving from uh, a drive class of uh, of this person let's say we have another one public void the same name hello okay we have something like this hello now what you will see is that so he's saying that uh, th this one is going to hide the other one so don't worry so here we have the we do the same thing console dot right line and then this time around we said greetings from the admin all right greetings from the admin 
okay so if we go let's go further into a lecturer and then we have similar method within that as well so let's say we have public uh, void and then we have um, say hello as well similar say hello as well and then there we have something like this uh, console dot right line and then what we are writing is say uh greetings from the lecturer all right now um now let's go into student as well and do something similar so we have a public avoid uh, say hello as well here and then the same thing so we said console dot right line and then what we are writing to line is greetings from the students okay now we've got this now let's say we we go into our program class uh yeah program class and then we we start the student first of all let's say we say we start a student like this we start the student like this so we have student and then we have we have it like uh, yeah student as a variable and then we instantiate it with student as a class so we have student student and then we have this one to be new student all right so we have student student we have this to be new students this instantiates the, the student and um let me say yeah this instantiates the student but th although he, he needs the parameters to be given so let's say 15 as the age and the name to be you know um dio and then country to be nigeria and then level to be student so let's say we have something like that and then i have admin admin which is a new admin a new class and then that one too has his age to be 57 then the name is the name is Yusra then the country is Nigeria and the level is admin then let's say we have Amola um, we, we instantiate the lecturer so let's we have this to be lecturer and then he goes to new lecturer like that so uh, similarly we have this assign for the five and then name let's say the name is kenny and then country is ghana and uh, level is lecturer now if we run this you know it will let's see what we get yeah uh, i presume it's going to work pretty the way it's been written and i will use that to explain something so we run it you see us to having to automatically close the program we have this oh so we didn't actually say anything we just instantiate all of them so let's say i call um students dot say hello yeah uh, so students say his own hello 
and then admin said he's on hello as well he said he's on hello and the lecturer did the same say hello as well so i haven't done that let's see what we get as the output so you can see what we have in here is greeting from student greeting from admin greeting from the lecturer and that's pretty much what this is telling us here what this um notification was telling you if you go into the student you can see this green line here so you can see it's telling you that the say hello here hides inherited member the say hello here hides uh inherited member uh person person dot say hello you know because the its parent his base class has the similar you know uh method so this one here hides hides that one so you use new keyword if you know hiding was intended so if you really want to say okay um we want to um to hide it you know so you uh, you have something like this so if you do this if you use this new keyword here you know he knows that you really intend to do what you want to do so it's going to work pretty the same way you know it's not like it's working the, the accident by accident so but this is not what we want to do but this is just an explanation that you know when you declare a a method here uh in a derived class when you do uh, the, the, the when you declare a method in a derived class that is sharing the same name with a method within the base class so the the one that you have in the derived class will overwrite the one you have in the base class but if we let's go into the program if we go to program class so instead of calling this a student you know a student is also a person so let's say we say a person and then we come here again we call this instead of calling him explicitly an admin we call him a person as well he's also a person and then this lecturer is also a person so what you will get will be something that is ex uh, different from what we got the first time so let's see what we get now if you do this and you run it then you see that all of them are echoing what we declare within the the base class so you have greeting from the person greeting from the person greeting from the person even though what you called here is the say hello within the student and then this is a say hello within the admin and this is a say hello within the lecturer now so to 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 handle this to handle this even though we want to declare this as a person and a person and as a person and we want them to in individually echo you know their content we want them to individually echo their content as written with the, as it contained within you know the respective class so what we're going to do will be to introduce what we call the virtual so we'll go to our uh, base class here so we would make this method a virtual method okay we'll make this a virtual method and then we'll then go into the individual so if you come in here now let's say student here instead of having it new we you then write override you introduce override so you override the the method in the base class so this way when you do this um the the uh what's it called this method here would be would take precedence over the one that you have in the the the, the base class so we go into your program you see that nothing has changed this is still declared as a person this is still declared as a person this is still declared as a person so if we run it now let's see what we get So you can see the student one is you know is is different uh, from students but the other guys are still person person all right so if i go straight into my lecturer now and do the same um, override so when i use this override 
you understand so this is going to override the same method within the base class okay so if you go into the admin as well and make this an override so it's going to override what we have within the base class okay so we have it like this so if we if we run it now you'll see that we get something pretty you know as expected you know so this is just a bit of you know, we knowing what we're actually doing that things are not just being done by accident if you want to override the methods within the the base class we do it intentionally using a virtual keyword within the base class and then a corresponding override keyword in the derived class you know all right then we could equally use a new if you, if you want to hide the member a member that which could be a field or a method in a base class you use a new if you use a new keyword here so here um let's say we have um a member within the base class called say person within this person we have something that is public let's say we have a public material let's say we have a public material here public uh, string uh, uh, profession something like that okay then within this place and then uh, let's say we have a string profession like this so um, which is equals to which is equals to yeah let's say which is equals to uh, developer software developer so let's say we have something like this and then within a student or any of those other classes you have similar name you know or even if it's a method i've just used it within a method as well so we have similar name let's say we have i'm just going to copy it to just save time so there i have another field here so i have this one then this one here you can see what it's saying this one will hide the whatever it is that you have within the um the base class so let's say here now i'm calling this person a doctor a doctor so you use a new keyword so if you use a new keyword you can see that the the um information the information it was giving you that you know um this is going over so it knows that you are really doing it intentionally so this one here it tells you that you are creating this um, this member afresh so you are going to it is going to hide the one that you have within the within the base class so this is just at the surface you know what we have what we what we call a uh, polymorphism you know uh, polymorphism simply items appearing in different forms so we can have uh, method overloading function overloading and all of that so we'll see all of this as as we move along all right